Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. We all know that trying to program a Baofeng or other Chinese radio can be a real chore. But no longer you're going to need to carry around a computer or programming cable or try and figure out the endless menu options. Thanks to TID Radio, they've created a little Bluetooth device so you can program your radio from your phone. And we're going to show you how to do it right after this. Okay, the items you get when you order it is you get this information sheet, basically has the instructions on it. You get this little service card, gives you some information, their phone number, 24 hour service, and that they have an 18 month warranty, their website. You get a charging cable and you get the unit itself. You get all this for $13. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, go to your app store for either Apple or Android, you're going to be looking for Oddmaster. Go ahead and download it. I already have, so I'm just going to open it up. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have your device connected to the radio. We're going to be using a Baofeng GT5R from Radioddity. Turn it on. Make sure the radio is turned on. Then you're going to want to connect the Bluetooth. Go ahead and turn it on. Then select your model. I'm going to be using Baofeng UV5R. And then read from the radio. You'll see the status light flashing as well as red for the writing or the reading part. And you'll see the status bar on the phone. Then that takes you over to all the channels you have on the radio so far. I'm going to put in a simplex frequency. We're going to be putting in the national calling frequency. 146520. We don't have to worry about any of the PL tones. Make sure we're on high power. And with it, we're on wide and narrow. Make sure we're on wide. And at the very bottom, you can put in whatever tag you want. Okay, and then go ahead and go to the next one. I'm going to go to channel 15. I'm going to put in one of the local repeaters from here. The receive frequency is 145220. And the transmit frequency is 144620. And you're going to need to put in a PL tone. In this case, it's 103.5. Select whatever power you wish. I want high and we're in wide. Put in our tag which is Clara. And then once you have all that done, you can go over to function and this will allow you to change things for the radio itself. If you want to have like band A, whatever you want your frequency to show up at when you go straight to VFO. You can do the same with the B band. You can use the voice prompt, which is either off English or Chinese. You can put, use a PTT ID. You can change the colors of your whether your, your weight LED, your transmit, and your receive. And once you're done with everything, go ahead and push right. And you can see on the radio, when you're writing, the radio LED is starting to flash green, as is the unit, and you have your status bar on the program itself. It resets the radio. Now let's see if it showed up on channel 15. 
Yep, and there we have Clara. And channel two is now national calling. Once you have everything set up the way you like it, hit save. We put in today's date and the type of radio we're using. 12th of July. And we programmed a GT5R. Confirm. Okay, now if you like the way this is set up and you want to match your other radios, all you have to do, turn off your unit. You'll see that it turned off on the phone as well. Swap out the radio you want to use. We're going to go to the GT3TP. Turn it on. And you're going to have to again, now that you've turned it back on, go ahead and turn on and match it to the phone. Select your model. I again use UV5R because that's basically what its programming is set up as. Go to read. And again, you can see the status light that it's reading. Once that's done, go to your saved memories. And we're going to go to where we saved ours. And for some reason, it put it in twice. Not sure as to why it does that. And then go ahead and write. And it's writing back to the radio. And it's rebooted the radio. When you're done, just go ahead and turn off your unit. Turn off the radio if you're done with it. And in about a minute and a half, you have now cloned both radios to have the same frequencies at the same memory slots. It's that simple. The other Baofeng I tried to use is the UV5RE+. I could not get the unit to work with that one. And I have heard that there are some people that weren't able to get it to work on a GT3 TP, but for some reason it worked on mine. According to the tech support, they are working on that. They're trying to get all the bugs out, and sometimes a little server error will show up. And on my phone, sometimes I have to make sure my Wi-Fi is off and just use regular data to get it to work. I don't know what interferes with it, but that's just one of the issues. It's a small inconvenience. But this device does save a heck of a lot of time. It makes life much easier. It's perfect if you're traveling around and you're in a new city or state. You want to throw in a few extra repeaters while you're there. You don't have to go dragging out computers or programming cables. Really appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.